Good afternoon, and we're here for another Bible study. It's Friday, May 28th, and we're just so glad that God has brought us through a whole another week. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank God it's Friday, PGIF day. That's right. God has brought us through a whole another week, and he's given us another daily devotion, and this is a great one. Yes, we want to go to uh, Mark, the fifth chapter and the 40th verse. And I have the King James Version, and we just want you to read with us uh, because this is another great devotion for you to take with you today. And so don't be afraid to read your daily devotion because spending that time with God is crucial. So let's just jump right into this lesson as we read Mark, the fifth chapter and the 40th verse. And it reads, I have the King James Version, but whatever version you have, read along. And it reads, and they laughed him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel and them that were with him and entered into, entered in where the damsel was laid, lying, excuse me. And that's Mark, the fifth chapter, the 40th verse. And so the name of this lesson is throwing them out, throw them all out. Get them out of there. You're out. And so let's read what this lesson has for us. It says, and I'm reading out of the devotional book today. And it says, when you're trusting God for a miracle, nothing will drag you down faster than uh, unbelief. Plus, it's impossible to know what God is doing based on how things look on the surface. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen, that's Hebrew 11, uh, verse 1. So in order to stay strong, it's important to fill your mind with the right things. The best, not the worst, things to praise. Philippians 4 and 8. One pastor writes, there were times Jesus didn't allow unbelief around him. Like when he raised Jairus' daughter from the dead. When he heard the little girl had died, Jesus told her father, do not be afraid, only believe. That's Mark chapter 5, verse 36. You can believe or you can be afraid. You can't do both. And people who truly believe bypass human reasoning. reasoning. When Jesus dealt with the spirit of death, that day, there was no room for contaminated faith, Oh, said. So when he went to Jairus' house, he allowed no one to accompany him except Peter, James, and John. That's verse 37. He took those who believed in miracles. And when they came to the house and saw people loudly weeping, he said, why make a commotion? The child has not died, but is asleep. They began laughing at him and putting them, but putting them all, all out, he took the child's father and mother and his own com companion and entered the room where the child was, child was. Taking her by the hand, he said, little girl, get up. Immediately the girl got up and began to walk. Verse 38 and 42. Humanly speaking, your situation may look impossible, but when you throw out the naysayers and the doubters and believe what God said, you'll get the result. Amen. And that's good to know, people. That is so good to know that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly all that we may think or ask. And we need to understand that you got to kick some people out sometime in order to get the results that you're looking for. You can't have doubters around, around you, you see, because those doubters will screw up your faith in Christ. Those doubters will get you believing that God can't do it and God don't hear you. And there's no way it can be done. The thing I hate is when people say, I can't, I can't, I can't. You know what that is? You're inviting the I can't spirit around you. 
You should be saying, I can, I can, I can, because you're putting it in Jesus' hands. And when you put it in Jesus' hands, you know that he can. He can do the impossible. He knows what we're thinking, and he can make a way out of no way. There's nothing too hard for God. And we need to understand that we serve the true living God, and he is our heavenly father. So throw them old haters out of there. Throw those unbelievers out of there. Get them out of there. As the baseball umpire would say, you're out. And so you can just snatch them out of there and tell them to get out while God works that miracle in your life. And so uh, this is just another daily devotion uh, that God has given us to let us know that we need to uh, only believe and not be afraid because he's able. And so this is another daily devotion. This is Friday, May 28th, and God has blessed us with another great word. Amen. We'll see you again in Jesus' name. Amen.